How is everybody doing? I hope you're all doing great and I hope you're all staying safe. I welcome you to a brand new segment on the channel. I asked you guys on the Discord whether you want to do this and you guys all reacted very positively. So here we are with a brand new segment where I review your guys' setups on this channel. You might be asking, hey, why are you doing this? You know, a lot of other channels are already doing this. It's not original content. Well, that is because I think this is an absolutely insane way to connect with the community. That and I want to see your setups. <laughs> and as you guys know, I'm a big fan of connecting with the community and getting to know you guys more and just chatting with you guys in general. Any excuse I can make to connect with the community more, I will take it. Yesterday's video was very different and a lot of you reacted insanely positively to it. You really, really liked it, which is a very nice thing to see because that video took so long to make and it was so hard to freaking make, but it was great. I think it turned out great. I watched it myself a few times, you know, like you sometimes watch something that you're very proud of. I watched it myself a few times and just because that's how proud of it I was. It kind of got me to go out of my comfort zone as well, you know, talking outside in public uh, with the camera holding it in front of me pretty damn cool. I might try and make more of those now that I know you guys enjoy them. Anyway, we're here. I slept throughout today's day. It was absolutely horrible. I was extremely tired, but now I'm happy to say I am awake. I awoke about 15 minutes ago and it's uh, it's 8.44. Anyway, I'm trying out a few cool new things with the channel and with the way I edit and with the way I record videos and you guys are reacting overly positively to it, so I'm going to continue and if you guys have any ideas, please let me know. As you guys saw in uh, today's intro, was also a little bit cool. So yeah, I'm trying out a lot of really cool new things, trying to get the videos to be a lot more entertaining, and I really hope that that is the way they are turning out to be. Also, I'm talking a lot about what's happening in this specific video because I feel like the community is going to be watching this video and they might want to know what's happening. You know, the VR videos, it's outsiders also come and I don't want to be wasting their time. But today's video, you guys submitted the setup, so I bet you guys are watching them. Plus, I hope you want to know, you know, what's happening, you know? I, I don't want to attack you guys and just surprise you at nowhere. Anyway, let's begin checking out your guys' setups. And I've got my laptop right here, and I'm going to open up Discord because Discord is where we did this. I asked you guys to submit pictures. I said Google Drive would be the best for me, but if you guys prefer doing it in some other way, you're free to do it. I'm not going to make this as hard as possible for you guys. I'm going to make it as easy as possible. And I also ask you guys to submit specs. You can also submit videos, by the way, if you guys have like a setup montage, because I know a lot of you are super creative and you like doing that sort of stuff. Feel free. I would be very excited to see what you guys have to show. So the first setup submission is by Alex Derpy Avali. I, I hope I am pronouncing names correctly. If I'm not, I'm sorry. I'm not really going to continue trying to pronounce them because it's just not going to end up correct in the end. So this is his setup and I am happy or not happy to say that I am not the only one with a small room. Now, I'm not happy to say this because I really wish you guys have a better room space than me for playing VR, but it looks like Alex here clearly has a similar room space to me. So zooming in a little bit, I can see you have a cooling fan on your desk, kind of cooling you. Uh, you also have the Oculus Quest. You also seem to have the Rift S. Is that the Rift S? Oh, that's an index. Do you have an index? Oh my God, mm, you rich boy. <laughs> okay, GG index boy here. And your PC is underneath your desk. I would always say, guys, do not put your PC on the floor. If it's a gaming PC, do not put it on the floor. Number one, it looks bad. And number two, it sucks up all the dust on the floor. However, here I can see you don't really have anywhere else you could put it. So I can see he's gone AMD. Good job, good job. AMD all the way. Then I can also see what seems to be a bunch of laptops on the floor. You didn't peel off the caution sticker on the side of your computer. Why? Now, a lot of people get super triggered when stickers aren't peeled, but I'm not one of those people. In fact, I had something I hadn't peeled a sticker off for quite some time, so I'm I'm a sinner as well. Uh, virtual desktop is open, so you have virtual desktop. Pretty damn cool setup. Overall, I really like it. I would have loved to see some... Oh, found the specs. I'm blind. 
Uh, it's an AMD Ryzen 7 3800X and an RX 5700 XT and 32 gigs of RAM, two times 512 gigabyte NVMe SSDs and two terabytes WD HDDs. Oh my God. Okay, this is a pretty overpowered setup. Not gonna lie, I didn't expect that whatsoever. Go away, Razer Synapse. So you've got a more powerful processor than me. Exact same graphics card, so high five. 32 gigabytes of RAM. I think I've only got 16. Two times 512 gigabyte NVMe SSDs. I have the same. And then two terabytes WD HDDs. This is pretty much the only place where I beat you. I have six terabytes of storage for all that video recording footage. But Dao Dam, congrats. This is a great, great setup. Treat it well. Maybe find room for that PC somewhere where the dust won't attack it. Overall, I like the setup. I can appreciate the fact that it's a little bit dirty. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, it is a little bit dirty. But if you're one of those people that has a dirty setup, but you know where everything is, I can appreciate that because I personally used to have that. So I can totally, totally appreciate that. Also, I'm not including any setups here that don't have pictures to go along with them because I did ask to submit pictures. This isn't anything against you personally. It's just, I need pictures to be able to show people. I can see an NZXT case and I can see an NZXT cooler. Someone's a big NZXT fan. High five. I like NZXT too. So I ate my cat, seems to be an NZXT fan, has a 3700X. Does everyone have a better CPU than me? I think so. A 2070 Super, an X570 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi motherboard, 16 gigabytes of Trident Z Royal, a Kraken X63, so that's from NZXT, I was right on that end, a H510i, that is the NZXT case, a one terabyte SSD, a soon, another 3080, <laughs> or new RX cards. I'd say wait for the RX ones. There seems to be some pretty good news regarding those. And that's what I'm waiting for. That and I just don't like Nvidia that much. Everybody seems to have a better setup than me. I don't know what's happening here. I'm feeling ashamed now. I have a 3600X. Uh, I recently upgraded 16 gigs of RAM and an RX 5700 XT. Should I feel ashamed? Is that bad? Is that a bad setup? I kind of use this and it, it's, it seems fine. Should I be ashamed? We have Big Boy here who posted a picture. This picture is just so insanely good. At first, I thought it was just taken from the internet, but it seems to have a caption of something that was taken on a mobile device. And when he posted this, everybody had the same question. Are you a streamer? Because, oh my God, if this is actually your setup, because I just, I don't know why I can't believe that this is your setup, but if it is, GG my man, this thing is beautiful. It is so clean. I love the leaf panels up there. They're the Apple ones, I think. I'm not a big fan of Apple. Absolutely freaking love it. Super clean. It's beautiful, honestly. And then finally, DCT05 posted in Google Docs. So, they're raw images. I'm digging this. Okay. Oh, oh, you've got a beautiful, beautiful view from your window, dear friend. That is beautiful. And I see a MacBook and iPad. So you clearly are an Apple kind of guy. No issues with that whatsoever. I've kind of come to appreciate Apple in my own way throughout the years. Super, super clean. I can see the Apple Pencil, the Razer mouse. Damn, is that a beautiful, beautiful view. I love the aesthetic. Damn, I really love this room. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe it's the color palette or just how clean it is in general. And of course, because it's a laptop, you only have one cable, the charging cable. So no cable management needed. I'm absolutely digging this setup. It just gives me some happiness. And he included a spec sheet. And that is what I love. Thank you so much for making my life simple. Really, really appreciate it. So it's a MacBook Pro 16 from 2019. 16 inch from 2019, or I think that's 16 inches. I'm not really familiar with the Apple terminology here. It has an i9 9880H, which is a really powerful CPU, by the way. 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte SSD, a touch bar plus touch ID. That is one thing I'm missing on this little laptop here. A fingerprint scanner. Where's my fingerprint scanner, Razer? A Razer Huntsman essential mouse, a MacBook Pro 16 inch leather sleeve, vegan as mouse pad. Wait, so your mouse pad is a, the sleeve. That is smart. That is smart. Oh my God. I really love when people use uh, things like that. In fact, I use this as my laptop stand and this is just a pizza place. <laughs> so as you can see, I have joined the club of janky things for laptops. 
An iPad 6th generation plus Apple Pencil. That is an absolutely beautiful device, my friend. And as much as I don't like Apple, props for that. And that Apple Pencil must be beautiful to use. An iPhone 11 Pro, of course, Apple guy. And Quest 2 on its way. You are going to love that device. Unfortunately, with Apple, you will not be able to connect it using the link. And that is the only unfortunate uh, part of it here. But other than that, absolutely beautiful clean setup. Thank you so much for submitting and for putting a smile on my face. I absolutely dig it. Oh, and thank you for making everything so freaking clear for me and submitting in the Google Drive format. Really appreciated. Next setup, we have Epic VR YT. So I'm guessing he is a YouTuber. His Quest, we can see his Quest, his Dell monitor, which seems to be of a four by three aspect ratio. I could be wrong, correct me on that, however. Uh, I don't see any PC, however, I do see a mouse that seems to be a little bit on the older end. The Quest is right there with a nice decal on the front. We can see the controllers. The cables are a little bit of a mess. Don't worry, I've been there. Other than that, really cool. Uh, again, I can see no specs or anything whatsoever, so I can't really talk about it, but overall, Pretty nice, pretty nice. I would do a little bit of upgrading here and there uh, in regards to maybe the monitor, unless that is 16 by nine. I can't really tell with the picture and the mouse probably, but, and I don't see any keyboard, which is interesting. What you have there? Then we have the real Andy Lee, of course. He is the person that I said submitted a meme setup in yesterday's video, where he just had a table with the keyboard and the touchpad. And this is this is what I was talking about, super clean setups. I'm really digging this. I might have to try this myself. It's just a table with a touchpad and the keyboard. And this is for use with infinite desktop when his Quest 2 comes. Super smart, really loving the idea, Andy. Damn oh damn, that is cool. Thank you so much for submitting. I can't really call this a meme setup anymore because I approve it. So thank you so much. And then we have the rest of the real Andy Lee setup. As we can see, we have a uh, CRT monitor, I think to the right, I'm not exactly sure. We have a Dell laptop in the center and a monitor of an unknown brand or maybe even a TV to the left. Kind of cluttered, not gonna lie. But yet again, if you know where everything is, all the power to you. The cables are a mess again. I've been there, so <laughs> might want to clear that up a little bit. Is that another monitor just laying down on the ground there to the left? That looks pretty interesting. I'm kind of, kind of concerned. And he says this one specifically is running a sleep laptop build with 32 gigs of RAM of DDR3, two SSDs totaling one terabyte, an i5 3800M, at 2.9 gigahertz. And his desktop is running an RX 570, which is a pretty damn capable GPU, especially for the price. So pretty cool. So not a bad setup, not a bad setup at all. Pretty damn cool. Thank you for submitting. Not Not Daniel uploaded his setup. Oh my God. I am loving this aesthetic. We have a triple monitor setup. I haven't seen a triple monitor setup yet. Pretty damn cool. Loving the LED strips, dude. Seriously, great job on that. We have a PC standing on the table, which I always approve of, as I said earlier. We've got a keyboard that seems to be mechanical. Correct me though if I'm incorrect. And I will always notice that mouse everywhere I go. I think that is the Logitech G502. I could be wrong though. It's The picture isn't the clearest, but I have the same mouse though. So if I'm correct, it's only because I have the same mouse and you've got an LED mouse pad just to complete that setup. The cable management, I give a strong seven out of 10. I think I was gonna say six, but no, I'm gonna give it a seven just because I can still see some cables and you could maybe 3M tape that extension lead to the bottom of the table and that would make it a little bit cleaner. But other than that, this is really nice cable management. Thank you so much for submitting. Okay, next setup we have is Neki. Wow, those are some pretty damn big RGB fans there in the front. But of course you have to show off your RGB if you have it. And you know I'm gonna full screen this image and find out what you're watching on YouTube. And I don't know what that is, but this setup looks pretty damn clean. You've got a pretty standard mouse, not sure what brand that is. You've got a Mitsai keyboard, a membrane keyboard, and overall just pretty nice clean setup. Surprisingly, the cable management is a lot better than I would have imagined. Uh, I don't know where you stuffed all those cables, but let's move straight into the specs. It's an RX 580 from XFX, pretty damn nice GPU, a Ryzen 7 2700. So it's of the second generation. So a little bit on the older side, still a super capable CPU though. 16 gigs of RAM, two by eight, an AeroCool Python PC case, pretty cool. A generic mouse, a generic keyboard, a full HD LG 22 inch display at 60 Hertz, more than capable, more than enough. Might not be the best, but I have a lot of love for my PC. Took me years to build it since I didn't have enough money at the time. That is all that matters. 
if you are passionate for your PC and you love it, that is all that matters. Don't listen to the haters. It's a great PC and I'm super happy for you. Thank you so much for submitting. Only two setups left, guys. We're almost there. This is Xeril's PC build. Okay, I always see it flipped when he's talking to me. I did not realize his setup was this clean. Oh my god. Here's my setup. The desk and wallpaper on the walls are a bit shitty. My case looks a little generic. Black server box, so no point in showing that. The PC itself is five years old, and the only thing I upgraded was the RAM. GPU increased clock speed from 3.5 to almost 4.5 because better cooler, and installed a decent power supply instead of a generic no name without any ratings. So he's rocking an i5 6600K, an EVGA RTX 2060 KO, the cheapest. <laughs> ah, come on, don't give yourself that much hate. It's a good. GPU, an MSI Z170A G45 motherboard, a Seasonic Focus GX 550 for the PSU, so I'm guessing that's 550 watts, a little bit on the lower end nowadays, you might want to upgrade that, and two times 16 gigs of HyperX RAM. So it does seem that everybody with a PC is absolutely blowing me out of the water with, when it comes to RAM. But hey, look, oh my god, is this setup clean. GG XRL, I did not expect this. Super nice, super clean setup. Really, really digging it. I love the Nintendo there to the left on that laptop. We've got a white Xbox controller and a white keyboard, which is really contrasting with that black mouse pad. Really digging it. Uh, and all I know for a fact that all he's missing is his LED strip because his courier messed that up. So other than that, really, really cool setup. Thank you that I finally get to see it. Guess you'll get to see mine pretty soon. <laughs> No scope or Sir No Scope. I think you changed your nickname yet again. I actually saw this setup when I went into it and I was super, super excited to learn more about it because this I'm really digging. There's three screens, but all of them are different. So we see it connected to a Lenovo IdeaPad S3040 connected to what seems to be a curved Samsung panel up top, which is really, really cool. And then to the side, I see what I think looks like an iPad, but I don't think it is an iPad. I think it's rocking Linux. So that's really, really cool. And I love the matching wallpaper. Absolutely digging that. Really clean setup. Can't see any cables. It's either you hid them or I'm not sure where they are. I think I see an Xbox controller and an Apple Watch. So pretty, pretty damn cool. Again, very clean. Digging the wallpaper on all devices being the same. And I love the fact that they're all three completely different screens. And you have them in a pretty nice layout too, where you can see all of them at once. So thank you so much for submitting. Uh, I'm not sure if you posted specs anywhere. I can't really see that. Really, really digging it. Thank you so much for submitting. And that is going to end today's episode. Oh, the laptop just died. We're perfectly on time. So I can see on the camera that this is 25 minutes long. So I'm going to have fun editing this. But oh my God, guys, this was fun. I just wanted to chill with you guys today because of how exhausted I was after yesterday. Thank you so much to everybody who submitted. If you want to submit, go onto the Discord. We have them all there. And now I have something for the first time where I'm going to ask you guys to do something in the comment section. Please vote on which one was your favorite. I'm not saying that there will be a prize because I don't think I can afford a prize after my expenses yesterday, but, <laughs> but we'll figure something out. Maybe like a shout out or something. So... Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too. But please tell me why down in the comments section below. If you guys like this type of content, please let me know. Uh, again, trying to figure, you know, stuff out, make videos a little bit more entertaining. So yeah, please let me know. And if you guys are not yet part of the community, we have a Discord down in the description below. We also have a Reddit down there where I want to see you guys posting your spicy memes. I see a lot of cool memes going back up there. The Reddit is becoming more active than ever, and I'm really digging that. We have to do another I review your Reddit memes very soon. And yeah, if you guys want to join the club, I post tech videos daily and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. So if that floats your boat, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.